I haven't talked to you guys in a while. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be filming a chit chatty get ready with me, answering some of your guys' questions on Instagram. I feel like I haven't sat down and just talked to you guys or just updated with many things. I just haven't felt connected to you guys, whatever that means. Here I am today, update you with my life. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. Starting off with primer, this is from Laura Messier. It has SPF in it, so I'm not gonna use any sunscreen with it. I always, like I hate applying sunscreen before makeup because it's so oily and it just doesn't blend very well but SPF is crucial it fights skin cancer and aging yeah today I'm meeting a friend who's visiting from Spain we're going to Notting Hill so I'm just gonna get ready for that we're gonna start off with some life questions um how has life been treating you lately I hope you're doing okay love you I love you too thank you so much for the question and for asking about my life uh life has been very very good i'm not gonna lie i've had the major changes this past year compared to last year so i switched i guess my focus in my career as many of you have seen on my instagram i've been more active there rather than on youtube i've always just been a lifestyle youtuber where i create content revolving my life as a student and as of lately I don't think my life has revolved around school or you know studying and being productive rather I've been just going to more real life events meeting new people and really just getting into the fashion world which is completely different from YouTube like I thought it went hand in hand but in reality I think it's pretty different for foundation I'm using the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer this is the only shade that matches me right now all of the other foundations that I have these are way too light for me this is in the shade 2c1 as I was saying like with YouTube I feel like it's more of a one person thing you know I just film my videos edit them I did have a manager that really specialized in YouTube brand sponsorships from last year I switched off agency now I have a, man a manager who you guys must have seen in my vlogs we i love her we are really really close we're not only you know work relationship with guest colleagues well, if you want to call it like that but we are also really good friends and it's just been really really nice to work with her she has helped me a lot to get into fashion weeks and fashion events fitting relationships with the top brands that i've been working with like dior chanel and yeah if you guys have been following me for a while you guys know that this is what i've been wanting to do for a really long time i've always said that i want to tap into the fashion industry and definitely a lot of room to improve and grow which i'm really excited for and i think it's just great to see how much i've changed um not only the way i dress but also the content i've been putting out and just as a person yeah it hasn't been easy though definitely a lot of imposter syndrome because there's so many beautiful people out there that dresses beautifully and it's hard to not compare yourself to them i'm getting there and also just i'm just very lucky to be surrounded with people that have been really supportive and have believed in me so it has just made the journey a lot better in that sense but yeah but that's my life currently i've just been working for fashion and just being relevant other than that uni is happening soon i start uni in two weeks time i'm actually quite excited for this last year because i think the modules are a bit better than last year because last year i did not enjoy any of the courses um but i have luxury management next year so i'm very excited for that um i think i'll learn a lot within the fashion industry i'm also going to milan in paris in a week for fashion week so i'm really excited very very exciting things so follow me on instagram to follow my real time i guess story or updates otherwise i'll see you guys on youtube here with vlogs my skin has been pretty bad but now that i'm back home eating healthier it's getting cleared up so very glad about that my beauty blender is disgusting i don't really wash it so or my brushes my makeup brushes that's something i need to get done as well now i'm taking the ysl touche clad this concealer is not really good at coverage but it's great to brighten up the face also if you guys are wondering what is this sticker that's a nicotine patch because your girl just recently got an implant surgery i think i briefly talked about it in one of my videos but i have this genetic genetic condition where i lack teeth in my mouth and some of the teeth that i have are baby teeth 
so obviously they don't really have a root on they're bound to fall out later in life one of them has left me already so i just got an implant like literally yesterday i was really really scared um i think i was more scared about the anesthesia than than the actual surgery like for the implant how it works is like they drilled a thing into my gum um and then in a few months i'll get the crown so here as you can see it's empty wait where was i going with that oh I have a nicotine patch because you guys know that I'm a smoker and that's not something that I want to publicize in my channel because it's not something to publicize it's really bad for your body I wish I never got into it but it is addictive and it's you know something that everybody tries to quit especially here in London the smoking culture here in London is quite quite big I know it's bad for me and that's why I never talk about it because I don't want you guys to get into it smoking kills don't do it don't get into it it burns your money burns your throat burns your health i'm in the journey of quitting because i actually cannot do it anymore so <laughs> yeah for now nicotine patch it is um nicotine is so bad for you it makes you tired makes you depressed there's no point in it so anyways i don't know where i was going with that i feel like i'm gonna get hate i'm really nervous about it but you guys are my friends so i think this is a safe space <laughs> but I think it's gonna be interesting how I'm gonna survive because like It's not something that you say I'm gonna quit and you quit like I recently received Laura Mercier's This is not sponsored by Laura Mercier by the way They just happen. I just happen to be on their PR list and they just you know send me amazing products and I love Laura Mercier, so I'm gonna use their new translucent powder. This is from their rose gold collection This is in the shade honey star. It leaves a bronzy glow um, on your face and it's like shimmery I don't know if you guys can see mm, Not really. Have you ever felt scared embarrassed of having a YouTube channel when you started? Definitely, especially since I started at such a young age. I started when I was 12. Obviously, I created a different Instagram profile to interact with you guys and hid it from everybody of my school. I made sure that nobody knew from my school that I had a YouTube channel. But eventually, they found out. But I was really lucky because nobody really bullied me for it. Everybody was really nice and they thought it was a cool thing that I did. But I definitely was really embarrassed. Like, my biggest fear in high school was the kids from my school um, playing my videos in front of me. Or even putting that on the projector of the classroom that was my biggest fear it never really happened but sometimes my friends would want to you know watch my video during lunch break or something and i would just run i would just let them watch it and i would just block that idea out of my head a lot of you guys ask for advice on how to start youtube as well and i think just do it there's nothing to lose even if people make fun of it like what if you actually make a career out of it then who's making fun of who at the end of the day you know what i mean yeah if it's something that you are really passionate about i think just do it like it's not worth it to give up your dreams for like the laughs of some people that you probably won't ever speak to ever again after you're out of high school someone asked what's your mbti let me see because i never remember my MD mbti um my results are saved i am a turbulent architect intjt i am 62 percent introverted which is very true i think i might be a bit more introverted than that some people get really surprised though because they think i'm pretty outgoing i do meet a lot of new people and i can talk to strangers quite easily i wouldn't say easily but when it comes to strangers it's like i have less pressure because it's kind of like a fresh new start so i can just act however i feel um and if we just don't vibe then we just stop talking to each other like it's not that big of a deal but i am introverted in the sense that i require a lot of personal space and i sometimes you know i get drained from social situations and i need a lot of time by myself in order to you know recharge my social battery in big group situations like social situations with multiple people i tend to be the quieter person i really like listening i'm not a huge talker which is why it makes sense for me to make youtube videos because i can talk for so long in front of this camera when it comes to real life with people i'm more of a listener i love hearing about other people's stories and what they have to say so 
I think I'm introverted in that sense. I'm gonna do a very simple eye makeup look with this palette. This is Moonshot. I don't know to what extent it defines me as a person, the whole MBTI thing, because I have taken it before and different results have shown. The next question is how do you maintain friendships slash relationships? I think that's a great question, especially now that I live in London, because the thing about London is that everybody's so spread geogra geographically, you know, it's really hard to have your friend group living within five minutes from you. I'm very lucky my best friend lives right next to me so I see her every single day. Um, but definitely in order to keep up relationships you have to make an extra effort here in London. You have to make plans, you have to commit to plans and there's always gonna be someone that's the organizee. Yeah, like living in a big city, it, you can get lonely quite easily. Um, and meeting up with people can be hard because everybody's hustling, everybody's busy, everybody's far away. How do I maintain them? I just make the most effort as I can, you know, make time for my friends and go on cute little lunch dates or dinner dates or go into exhibition and museums together. But I feel like with social media existing, it's a lot easier to maintain friendships. People are constantly, you know, on track of what you're doing. And yeah, I think just making time for people and just actually making an effort. Someone asked, do you have friends from other universities other than UAL? Funny enough, most of my friends are from other universities or they are just not in university at all. I don't really go into campus that often, so I don't really have any friends from my course, I'd say. And my closest friends I've met via Instagram or partying. Hello. <laughs> bye. Bye bye. Have a good day. You too. I'm almost done with my makeup. And I'm taking the Dior eyeliner. Just a moment of silence. You guys are asking a lot about my university. Like, how do I balance uni, fun, and work? Am I still in university? I am still in university. I'm in my third year. How do I balance everything? I have no clue, honestly. I think I just don't balance it. I just wing I just wing it in life. I don't know half of the things that I'm doing. Like I'm very confused as to what I'm doing with my life. Luckily, my job um, is combined with fun. I'm the type of person that for me, fun is work. I love working and it gives me happiness and joy. So whenever I have free time, I just work. And with uni, my course is quite easy and it doesn't require much of an effort. That's the thing about UAL. I think most of the courses there, it allows you to do all the things on the side, which is really important in the fashion industry because you learn the most by actually working and gaining experience. I just make sure I go through my lectures. It has been helpful because most of them are now recorded so i can go back and watch them but to be honest with you like my course doesn't require studying at all it's pretty intuitive and you don't it's not really like you have to sit down and memorize things as you do in other courses with my course we don't really have any like weekly assignments what we have we have like submissions every three to four months so you ha we have a lot of time to work on our assignments. But that doesn't mean I work on my assignments very regularly. I usually do them maybe, maybe like a week before or even a night before. I just pull an all-nighter and I get it done. Now, my grades are not the best. I have always been a very good student, getting A's, and now I'm no longer that kind of student. My grades are pretty bad, which is kind of embarrassing, but I just look at it as um, I'm learning a lot through my job, going to events, meeting new people. I do sometimes get really, really stressed because I am my own boss and I have to manage my own time. Um, it was last year, I think the hardest thing for me was to wake up in time. I used to wake up like at 10 a.m. and it would take me two hours to, you know, get prepared for the day, like mentally. And then half of the day is gone. But now, ever since I got back from Thailand, I think it's because of the gel lag. I've been waking up at seven every single morning. So I have a lot of time to do a lot of things and I've been feeling more productive overall. Time management is definitely something I'm still working on. I'm getting a lot better though, like listing the things that I have to do and getting them done one by one. It's just been really helpful. I think that's the eyes. Oh, I've been getting eyelash extensions. I think it's been like, I've been getting them since March. 
um, and I love them. Now I'm taking the Dior Contour Palette. I love this thing. I've been using it for years now. Do you still want to go to New York City? During the pandemic, I signed up for the O1 visa, which is a visa for freelancers or creatives. Um, and they can grant you that visa if you can show that you're going to be beneficial for the US financially. Obviously, that's all they care about. And I actually got it. But I never went to the US, so my visa has always just been hanging there. Uh, my visa expires this year. So if I wanted to go to the US after I graduate, that would mean that I have to reapply for this visa and I'm not really sure if I'll get it this time. And also, like, I don't really know if I want to go to the US anymore. It's just kind of complicated. Also, like, I've made great friendships here in London and throughout Europe. I mean, I have a lot of friends in the US as well, but I don't know. My family's here, my sister's here, my cousins are here, everyone's here, and I love London. I'm not really sure, we shall see. Maybe sometime in my life I'll be in the US, but if, if it's not a burden for me economically... Yeah, I'm gonna contour my nose. I'm still a bit puffy, I don't know why. A lot of you guys are also asking about my trip to Thailand. I loved Thailand, I had such an amazing time. Everybody there is so nice very welcoming and sweet. Food was great. I do have to say though, when I was in Krabi and Koh Samui, the food was extremely sweet. It almost felt like they were using sugar as salt and I'm more of a savory person. So I think towards the end, we were like kind of sick of so much sweet. But yeah, also Thailand is just great for traveling, for students especially. We met a lot of backpack, blah, blah, blah. we met a lot of backpackers, just like solo travelers that were traveling all through Asia with a backpack, that's what backpackers do um, because the prices there are really really cheap yeah, I do have to be honest though, Bangkok wasn't as fun as I expected it to be I think it's because like, it's just a city and everything that you can do in Bangkok I can do here in London you know, it's just all about eating and going to cafes or museums and that sort of stuff and it was so so warm that it was kind of unbearable to be outside so we would always just be indoors under the AC yeah, I loved, loved Thailand. I think I definitely want to go back again and actually like spend a lot more time and getting to know the culture a bit more. Oh, the blush that I'm using is this one from Laura Mercier. It's called All That Sparkles. It's a really pretty corally color. I think I'm gonna apply a bit more. I've been really into heavy blush. I think it looks really great, especially with this tan. It makes me look healthy and alive. Do you have any new passion you got yourself into lately? Not really, because so I've been really busy with work. One thing though, um, I've been really into music lately and I've talked to a few friends about it. I've told them that maybe I want to pursue music after <laughs> I graduate. Not singing though, more like producing music. I recently got a DJ deck where you can like mix music because I've been going out quite a bit here in London and I love DJ sets. I have a lot of fun and I think it's just a very interesting thing that you can just play around with. And I myself am very into EDM and techno and house music so I think that's something that I want to explore more. I'm just waiting for the winter when things are calmer and I can stay at home much longer so I can practice a bit more because as of recently like I, I got the decks at the beginning of the year and I think I've used it like five times and I still don't know how to mix. People say it's easy but I find it quite hard. I think I'm just not confident enough to like just play around with it um, but that is something that I want to get into. I'm gonna use this setting spray. This is the um, Uni um, Uni setting spray. Lipstick. Um, I think I'm just gonna go for my go-to lipstick by Dior. I love this lipstick. Look at how much I've used it. Like that's so funny. Anyways, this is in the shade 200. It's the perfect nude color. Ding. Well, guys, it was great chatting with you all and just catching up there's still a lot of things i guess i haven't shared with you guys but i'm gonna make separate videos for that for example my hair care routine it looks really healthy i agree thank you guys for the compliments i'll share that very soon with you but i gotta go meet my friends and i'll probably see you guys very very soon please subscribe follow me on my social media 
I love you all. Thank you so much for staying around. And I can't believe I've been doing this for almost a decade now. I'm like one of those old YouTubers now. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Much love. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.